Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name's Anthony and in today's video, we're gonna talk about five of the most prestigious fashion schools in the entire world. So if you're ready to go to university and not sure which universities you wanna target, then this video is definitely for you. But before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help my channel to grow, especially that like button. You have no idea how much helps promote my video and boost it with the YouTube's algorithm. Please also leave a comment, like to chat to you guys and get to know you a little bit better and build this fashion community. Oh. Okay, so let's get started with a fashion university that is very close to home. It's in London and it's Central St. Martins. Now, I'm sure you've heard of Central St. Martins. So many notable people have come from this university. Some of them people include Alexander McQueen, Stella McCartney, Christopher Kane, and also Paul Smith. So it's got a very, very good track record of producing world-class designers. So as I said, it is based in London. It offers courses in fashion design, textiles, jewelry design, and and it also has a few extra courses around fashion. So depending on what you want to do and what kind of designer you want to be, this course is probably really good for you. It's actually inclusive and it wants people from around the world and it wants people from different backgrounds and different areas of the world. So it's a really good inclusive course. It's partially government funded, which is great. However, as it is a university, the fees can be quite high. So for UK and EU students, it works out about £9,250 per year year. However, if you're an international student, it is quite a lot more expensive and it works out at £19,930 per year. Oh my god, that's so much, but it is worth it as it is one of the most prestigious schools in the world. Also, as I go through these different schools, please let me just add a disclaimer here. I'm not going to be pronouncing them as well as it should be. There is some French ones in there, there's some Italian ones, and I am not French or Italian speaking, so I may get them a little bit wrong, but sorry about that. Okay, on to the next one. Parsons, the new school for design. Now, I'm sure, again, you've heard of this one, but it is a very, very renowned school. A lot of people have studied there and even they've done TV shows about Parsons. So it is a very well-known and renowned school. It has some amazing designers that have graduated from there. People like Donna Karen, Tom Ford, Mark Jacobs, Alexander Wang. Honestly, some of the most top tier designers that we've got at the moment have come from Parsons School of Design. So if you're looking to study fashion and you want to be one of them, high-end designers, then yes, Parsons could be for you. Now, as it's one of the best fashion schools in the world, it comes at a premium price and it is very, very expensive. I'm not even gonna joke. Per year, it is $49,844. So, oh my God, it's just so much money and it's around a three to four year course. So yes, if you are gonna study there, it is expensive. Not only is it that much money per year, you also have to pay an additional $198 for student fees. And usually there's three terms per year, so an extra 600-ish dollars. So it is very, very expensive, but it is one of the best fashion universities in the world. Now, the really good thing about Parsons is got a really good focus on maintaining great relationships with past students and within the work industry as well. So it's got great connections to all of the high-end designers and it is very good at placing their students in certain positions throughout the fashion world. So it is really good to go there. So you're paying the premium, not only to study, not only to say that you've been there, but also to hopefully place in a really good position in a high-end brand. But also what's really good is it does hold critiques with some of its previous students like Donna Karen so the students can get some good feedback on their work and their trajectory so I think that's amazing and I think it's something that a lot more universities should offer because a lot of fashion universities do have these amazing credentials and do have past students that have gone to do amazing things so why not bring them back in help out the future generations. So on to the next one, Instituto Marangoni. Now this is based in Milan and it is a very prestigious school to go to if you are wanting to study fashion design. Now what's really interesting about this school is it's actually split between three campuses. There's one in Milan, which is great, but the other two are also in London and Paris. So that's just amazing. No matter where you are in Europe, you'll be able to access the Instituto Marangoni 
Oh my god, so difficult to say. You just wait till I get to one in a minute. Oh my god, that is difficult to say. But you can access it if you're in Europe quite easily because there is one in Paris, there's one in London, and there's one in Milan, which is great. And as it's set over three campuses across Europe, it means there's over 2,000 students, which is great and great opportunities. It's got some really great courses and it goes into depth with loads of different types of fashion. So if you're not necessarily into fashion design, it also has courses on fashion buying, fashion business, brand management, and fashion promotion. So there are loads of different things that you can study if you don't necessarily want to be a designer, which is really, really good. It's nice to have a diverse curriculum. Now, depending on the course that you've chosen, your nationality, and the spoken language that you need the course to be taught in, the price is slightly different. So the fees range from 16,400 to 19,400 per year, for the course. But as I say, it all depends on what you want to study and what you want to do at the Institute. And when I say that they have got some of the world's best designers that have graduated from it, I am not joking. They had Franco Moschino and Domenico Dolce from Dolce & Cabana. So it is really one of the best fashion design schools out there, especially if you're in Milan or the European area. Oh, I would have loved to have gone to school in Milan. I actually have got a goal one day to be able to speak Italian, even if it's just a little bit, but don't hold me to that, but I want to learn it and I'm just trying to figure out how to go about it now. So if I've got any Italian speaking subscribers out there that want to give me some lessons, give me a shout out in the comment section below. Okay, on to the next one. <sighs> Oh my god, when I say this is going to be so difficult for me to pronounce, I am not joking. This is the one that I said was going to give me a hard time. It is really going to be difficult, but I am going to try my best, and I'm hopefully not going to f*** it up too much, but we will see. I'm going to have to read this off the screen because it is a long one. Eco de la Chambre Syndicale de la Couture Parisienne. École de la Chambre Syndicale de la Couture Parisienne. Eco de la Chambre Syndicale. École de la Chambre Syndicale de la Couture Parisienne. Eco de la Chambre Syndicale. Eco de la Chambre Syndicale de la Couture Parisienne. Oh God. I am butchering it, but okay. So I'm just gonna have to move on. I tried too much to try and get it right, but it sounds like this. École de la Chambre Syndicale de la Couture Parisienne. Perfect, okay, yeah. I'll put it up on the screen here so you can read it, but yes, it is one of the world's most renowned fashion schools for couture. So what's interesting is they only enroll a few hundred students a year. What really offers the prestige of this school is the fact that they have a direct influence on what is classed as couture. So they have a say on the fashion catwalks and determine whether something that's coming down the runway is actually couture or not. And listen, when I say that they also have some amazing past students that are at the height of fashion, right now I am not even joking. People who have previously studied there are people like Yves Saint Laurent and Valentino. So yes, it is a world-class university with world-class students and world-class people coming from it. So, so what's really interesting about this university is that they only consider students who have studied fashion prior. So they have to have been to university and done a university course prior to even applying to be able to get into this university. So it is like a higher education thing. So let's talk about prices and how much it is. Again, it's expensive, but not as expensive as some of the other universities. So tuition fees range from around 13,050 euros to around 14,400 euros, depending on the course. So really considering all your other options, London's looking very cheap right now. Okay, so let's talk about my final top fashion university in the world. Now, if you've noticed, we've concentrated a lot on European universities, and we've also concentrated on one from America, but this one is based in Tokyo, and it's called the Bunker Fashion College. So the program offers a few different areas that you can go into to study fashion, whether that be fashion design, fashion creation, fashion techniques, they also have marketing, accessories, and textiles, so it is a really good umbrella of courses that you can do there. Bunker is known for Japanese avant-garde styles, and their designers who have graduated from there really do focus on the avant-garde, the high-end, the couture, all of that sort of stuff. They also offer a more academic side of it, which comes in the form of marketing and technology. 
So it really does have a lot to sort of show for the fashion community. And it has over 8,000 students that attend it a year. And because of where it's situated, obviously Tokyo, Japan, a good understanding of Japanese is required. So if you want to go and study there, you need to have a good base of the Japanese language. And the cost is expensive. It's around 1.4 million yen. That works out around 12 to 14,000 US dollars. Okay, so that's my top five fashion universities from around the world. As I said, there are a lot of universities that do fashion. I myself went to Salford University in Manchester, so you don't necessarily have to go to one of these amazing prestigious schools to become a fashion designer. But if you want to get into the more high-end area, then I would say going for one of these will certainly help and it will have great contacts. And let me say one more time, so, so, so sorry for anyone who had to listen to me butcher the French and Italian language because, ugh, sorry about that. But if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to click that beautiful red subscribe button down below. Please also check out my Etsy shop where you can buy cards and vectors to help support you in your everyday design life. And it really helps support this channel. Otherwise, I'll see you here every Monday and Thursday with a brand new video. All right, okay, thanks for watching. All right, bye. Tra, tra, tra. Bye.